Hello, MDLers. Welcome to class. In this episode, we're taking a look at some English moments in K-dramas. Normal, normal. <laughs> Just a joke. A disgusting smell. But can we really judge them too harshly? Speaking more than one language is an amazing skill. But say, for example, if the line was rushed or maybe not even required, or. Maybe the character is allegedly a genius or a master of English because of maybe perhaps their elite status in life, but just what if their pronunciation just absolutely does not come through and the clarity just isn't there? Would this constitute a fail? Would you shake your head, grin at the cuteness and let it pass, or just wonder why oh why? Ready for it? Here is our list. Number one, Lee Min Ho in Airs. You're not gonna answer. It's been ringing for a while. No, I already know who's calling. It's my fiance. She's either about to get on the plane, or could be on the plane, or let it here. It's our engagement anniversary soon. You look like none of that's a good thing. No, I always look this good. Okay. Airs can be considered a classic now. The high school drama with a large cast of beautiful people was so bad it was good. And even almost binge-worthy for its time, many drama fans may remember this one as one of their first K dramas. While in America, Kim Tan attends university where the stage is set in an all-English classroom, giving the impression that he can fluently speak English. All right, so let's watch that one more time. What you doing? Pack up your stuff. You said it was your anniversary. I'm too, too lazy, lazy to celebrate. celebrate. Hmm, what do you think? Passable or fail? Here are some more examples. No explaining needed. Number two, from Kill Me, Heal Me. Watch your baby. Will you pass this on to Jennifer on your way home? It's the agenda for the student union meeting next week. You can do it yourself. Please, Do Hyun. Okay. Sure can. I will come back and break every single piece of your body. Number three. Rooftop prints. Oh, hey Zoe. Hi. Uh, you're having a day off tomorrow, right? Do you want to go catch a movie? Yeah, but I changed my timetable with Betty's, so I'm taking the next day off. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Next time then. Okay. All Thank right, you. Now. See ya. Bye bye. Number four. High kick three. Hey, hey, my name is Crystal. You fell asleep the minute you got on board. Now you up? Yeah, my friends threw me a farewell party just before coming to Korea. They did not let me sleep. Party. We don't look like foreigners. We are. Bye bye. Jina, go to school. Year one. That's not me. I mean, I don't even speak Korean. Can you just let me go? Jungsook, how old are you? Uh, I I'm twenty years old. Number five. Sister is alive. Try the dress on the one on the mannequin. It's expensive. How much? More than you can afford. More than you can afford. Bring me the dress. All right. So far, we know they tried their best, but did those just get lost in translation? Or shall we applaud their efforts? Let's continue with the rest of our list. Number six, persona. Please seduce that woman. She's my English teacher. If you succeed, I'll go with you. Number seven, life risking romance. Jungu is just a thief. His appearance, occupation, intelligence—they all indicate he doesn't match the profile. You know that, Jane. That's exactly how I see it. Sorry, I don't think that I can come with you. Why? It's rock hard. I'm afraid that he has some tough times ahead of him. I don't think I can leave him behind like that. Even though he's a killer. Number eight, circle. 
In the USA, somebody made the anti-fiscal evasion system using data mining. How about... What's your name? What? Where are you from? How old are you? Number 9. Abyss. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I made a call to the marketing manager in China. Yes, you can finalize the rest. Okay. All right, let's grab a drink next time. All right, take care, bye-bye. Number 10, a man's story. I'm supposed to meet somebody here at 2.30, but it looks like I got here a little early. How can I help you? Wait. If I ask you for your number, will you give it to me? Jamie, if you let me know who you're waiting for, I can show them to your seat. I don't know if your English teacher's ever told you this before, but your English accent is very sexy. Cringy or cute? What do you think? While for some, the pronunciation might fail, there should be some major kudos owed to the effort of these actors. But is charisma really enough to pull it off? Or would more study time and language coaching have assisted in strengthening these scenes? Scripting and screenwriting can go through many rewrites to determine what dialogue makes the cut when the director yells action. Later, the editor will have their work cut out for them, making the final arrangements of all the scenes necessary for an episode. More reviewing, any more final adjustments, and voila, the episode is ready. But in these situations, I believe the notion to enhance the viewer's reception of the story, and maybe the primary depth and background of the character, is to add that mild element of foreign intrigue. Cultural exchange is a genuine and wonderful experience. From a simple shared greeting to a thankful reply. It is definitely an overall benefit. Are there any dramas you can recall where the character busted out some use of English language? Let us know in the comments down below. And interested in any of these drama titles mentioned, you can find out more about them at mydramalist.com. I'm your host, at Happy Squeak. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, MDLers.